<laughs> it's great to have you here. Thank you very much Glad for coming by. Let's just look at some of the things that are happening as we uh, as we sort of progress through these playoffs and get your take on it. It starts with LeBron James because it feels like basically everything does, but he was tremendous again last night. LeBron with 43 points, 14 assists. Cleveland now a commanding 2-0 lead, both wins on the road against Toronto. And this is a team that a week ago looked almost dead and buried, losing by 30 points in a game six. Now does it start to feel inevitable that LeBron takes his team back to another finals? Does it feel that way to you? It looks like it, the way he's playing. Um, just he's, he's in his own right now. That's, I don't think anybody can stop right now. Honestly, it's like year 15, he just, it looked like he, 2003 when he first came in the league, he just playing at an unbelievable pace. And um, man, it's just, I, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's like he's getting better. How about this? We talked a lot about it earlier. Ben Simmons will eventually get a jump shot or improve his range. You have to. LeBron James did that. His signature shot, now is a turnaround step back jumper. All players, as you know, have one. You have one. Right. You're hezzy with the left yeah. and pull up <laughs> for a jump shot. Right. And so, can you talk about how that evolves in the player because we saw Ben Simmons struggle so much? I just think it's repetition. It's over and over and over. That's what I just try to do. I just work on the same thing, the same move, and try to eventually just get it down pat. And once you get it down pat, you're able to add different things into your game. But just get the basics down first, the fundamentals. And that's what I just try to do. Just work on, you know, I know I'm going to get to it. I know that if I continue to work on this, that nobody's going to be able to stop because I, it's already in my mind that I did it so much. So I think one's been really, you know, dedicated yourself of really getting a jump shot. Because in the league, you need a jump shot. Because the way the guy's playing is going to be tough, especially in the playoffs. The game slow down. You're always not going to be able to dump it down there to, you know, and be, even though he can score whenever, probably. God's going to play you differently. So he got to work on his jump shot because if they give me that 15, you know, feet jump shot, you got to be able to make it. And you got to take it with confidence. Let me go back to LeBron just for a minute. But he's <clears throat> playing the way he's playing right now and love steps up and plays the way he played last night. What are you going to do with that? Give, right give me a, a defensive mindset when you're walking out onto the court. What, what is the strategy? Tough. It's tough when you got guys, especially making plays like Jeff Green, Kyle Korver, JR. So they're going to be a tough team to be if everybody's making shots, everybody can trailer, especially you got LeBron doing what he's doing at a high level. You know, and then you let him come in your house and go up two games. It's tough. Beagle, are you starting to buy in? Because well, you, that's my you were the last holdout. I was going to ask, because if we if we rewind to a week ago even, this was not a Cavs team that looks like what we've seen the last two nah. games. So among the guys in the league, did this feel, especially in the East, did this feel like the year? I'd be lying if I say I, I wasn't shocked. I thought, you know, Toronto at least to get one. Right. But LeBron in the first game, he said he didn't even play well, and they won. So the triple-double. And you see what happened in the second game when he did play well. So... I don't know. They just got to figure it out. I mean, you got to you got to try to figure it out. But it's hard to stop a team that's playing at a high level, especially starting with LeBron ahead of the Snake. So then you got Kevin Love tripping in with 31. Then, you know, other guys, JR had 20 the first game. So it's going to be a tough team to beat they were moving devious. forward. Let's go back to Simmons for a moment last night. Obviously, major struggles. Just the one point last night. Talked a little bit about how some of it might have been Psychological. You just came off a series playing against them, and he certainly didn't seem to have any of these problems there. What are you seeing? What specifically are the Celtics doing that are making this Boston so difficult? Boston just one of them teams like us. We, a gritty team. Grimy, tough, hard-nosed, don't care who, who's doing well. Everybody chipping in, so they don't really care about everything. I think Ben Simmons, like he said, he, he, you know, he, he, he was overthinking. It was, it's one game, though. I mean, he, he had a hell of a series against us, and um, don't let one game just... You know, take it away from everything else. As you know, Pat Riley talks a lot about the disease of me. And I know it's really tough for you to watch your oh, team man. lose to Philadelphia. So talk about the pain in watching your squad lose and what you think about Hassan's play and his comments after the series. Uh, for me, personally, it was tough because that's something I always dreamed about, just being home in Philly, in the playoff, the atmosphere, you know, my family, my friends, everybody who watched me grow up. I wasn't able to you know, partake in that. So it was so hard to watch, you know, and um, I feel though I let, you know, I let, I let my team down, but there's nothing I could do but just try to get better and um, come back strong next year. As far as Hassan, I just think sometimes you just gotta just, you know, the best thing to do is just bite your tongue sometimes mm -hmm. at the end of the day because, you know, 
either you're going to back it up with your play or then, once again, the internet. Like I said, the gift and the curse. So I think he should learn from this. But at the end of the day, it's motivating. At the end of the day, you know, you don't cry about that. Like me, personally, whatever happened, whatever went on, I would have got right in the gym. And like, I'm going to prove myself. I'm going to prove everybody else. That's what Victor Oladipo certainly seems to have done.